Okay, I don't know what just happened, so I'll just send these both. That's how I would hand her a treat so she can't bite us. How to get her to take a treat eventually like this without biting us is a lot more like in depth. First of all, we're gonna work on a lot of like impulse control things in general. Weight stays, you know, um, place working. You know, just, just things that we're gonna ask her to do is gonna be normal impulse control, right? It says she wants something and she can't have it right away. We'll be doing it throughout a lot of different things. There's some more impulse control work that is, um, that's a little more specific towards, you know, that impulse control. And we might do some of that, but she has a lot of things going on right now that is already working her little puppy brain to not get what she wants when she wants it. And that's going to help take a treat softly. Um, the other thing is when we deliver treats, doing it really calmly, I... I've seen you do it and you give her a treat just as calmly as you can. I You're not doing it in a way. But sometimes people that know they're going to get bit hand treats like. Ah, ah. And again, you don't do that. I'm just saying that's just going to make it worse. Things that like yelling like, oh, or like getting there really quick. That all is going to make it worse. Okay, so what we can do. We're going to hand it to her open hand flat right? Um, as she gets older, we will see her take it in a more calm way. Um, as far as teaching her like soft, as she gets a little older and she, we know that she has that impulse control and she's just not using it, then we'll start, you know, holding a treat out. And once we stop feeling teeth, letting her have it. Um, we could do it now. Will she make the connection? Not really. I, I don't think. Maybe she will. I, she's brilliant. She knows a lot more than I think she wouldn't ever know at this point. So, so like, my thing, I guess I'm saying is uh, there's a lot of different steps to get there just naturally. And if it's still a problem in a few week months, then we'll start doing things like handing her a treat, waiting to not feel teeth on us, then saying, then letting it go, then giving it to her then pairing it with words like soft or whatever you want to use. So there's a lot of different directions. Um, also look up stuff online. See if any of it sounds like on the same level. I hate to just, I just don't want y'all to ever just, like what I say isn't always just golden. Yes, that's how we train it. And yeah, I've learned it and I've been to seminars and I and it, it, it is a way to do it. I'm not saying that like, I don't really know if I'm right. I know I'm right. There's a lot of ways to be right, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to ever feel like you guys have to listen to what I'm saying. You can subscribe to other different ways, and I will help you do that way also. My thing is teaching her soft right now. It might not come through. It might be more frustrating for us because she's just not at the capacity where she can, like, slow down and take treats. You know what I mean? So um, handing it to her, handing to her open palm, you know, kind of this way. Um calmly delivering her treats, which y'all already do. Um, and then just learn her learning impulse control as she ages. Hopefully is enough to usually make dogs stop, generally. And if not, then we can go to the next step. Um, but if y'all want to start doing stuff of it now, we can try just the whole like waiting for teeth to go off. It's, it's totally up to y'all.